next date that we have to look at to decide whether the bond trades cum interest or X interest is 15 April 2012. So I'm going to write this up here. 15 April 2012. Right, the coupon payment dates stay the same, 31st of March, 30th of September. So for the 15th of April, the previous coupon payment date that precedes it will be the 31st of March 2012 and then the next coupon payment date will be the 30th of September 2012. Right, now the register closing date preceding the next coupon payment date will therefore be one month before that, the 31st of August 2012. And now we can indicate the transaction date, the 15th of April, that will be in the period after the 31st of March, after the previous coupon payment date, but before the register closing date. Right, so the 15th of April is the date on which the transaction takes place. Now, who owned the bond on the register closing date? The bond trades on the 15th of April, so on the re register closing date, it belonged to the buyer. He bought it already on the 15th of April. So who will receive the full coupon, so the coupon from 31st of March until 30 September on the next coupon payment date, it will be the buyer because it belonged to him on the register closing date. But is that quite fair? No. Because from the 30th of March until the 15th of April, it belonged to the seller. So the seller should also get a part of the coupon. And that is a period of 15 days for which the seller should be compensated. So from the 31st of March 2012 until the transaction day, the 15th of April 2012, this bond belonged to the seller and therefore the seller has to be compensated for this period, which is 15 days. Now, how will the seller be compensated? The seller will be compensated by adding accrued interest to the clean price. So the all-in price would be the clean price plus accrued interest, therefore we say that this bond on 15 April 2012 trades cum interest. You add the accrued interest to the clean price. So to summarize in the table you will indicate that on 15 April 2012 this bond will trade cum interest and the period for which um, accrued interest has to be calculated is from the 31st of March 2012 until the 15th of April, April 2012.